Um, excited about tomorrow's game. Big weekend um, in Oxford with baseball starting, Mike's team. Obviously, O's got a big game on Sunday, our game uh, tomorrow at 2.30. And uh, so excited about playing Mississippi State. You know, it's the first time since I've been here we've lost the first game of the series. And, uh, you know, it's been a real even series in the last five years. And uh, it, it was a good game in Starkville. thought their crowd played a big part of it. Uh, we got up, I think, seven with about ten to go. And they made some good plays down the stretch to win. Uh, you know, our team is healthy besides Josh Mabala. He suffered a, uh, a fracture in his foot. He's got the fourth injury that he's had. And uh, so it'll be kind of week to week. We'll see if he can make it back this season. And uh, But besides that, our team is uh, – is healthy and looking forward to uh, to playing a really good Mississippi State team tomorrow. You were breaking down the film from Mississippi State the last time you all played them, especially kind of in those last 10 minutes. I know you said a crowd played a factor in it, but just schematically, uh, you know, are there certain things that you're wanting to fix from, you know, that last sequence of the last game going into this one or what kind of? Yeah, they, 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 they you know, really, they, they got us on the offensive boards. You know, and so that was a big part of it, and that's something that Mississippi State's done. It's something we've done really well all year, and uh, and I thought their toughness, offensive rebounding, we really had some just kind of some untimely, unforced turnovers that led right to baskets in their comeback, and we were up seven right at the top, and Theo had one, Miles had one, just went right to runouts that you couldn't guard, and so you know against those guys, you really got to have be strong with the ball, ball security. And, uh, yeah, there's some things that, you know, as you look at tape, I'm sure like they do, that we hope that, that we can do. We were the best in transition offense. And, uh, and so, so hopefully we can create some turnovers, be able to get in, uh, in space and be able to get some easy baskets. Kind of getting off to the rough start that they did in conference play and then I think winning five straight and then taking Kentucky through the wire, you know, what difference have you seen kind of with them, you know, since the last time you all played them? You know, same team, I think. They, uh, I, I think – uh, more the lefties playing really well. You know they're shooting the ball better from the from the perimeter. Uh, Tulu Smith has always been good. Cam Matthews one of the toughest guys in our league. Uh, you know uh, they made some timely threes in their comeback late in the second half. And uh, you know I, I just think they what they've done they've closed out close games. You know they they've they've played well. They won on the road, but they closed out some close games at home and uh, lost a tough one to Kentucky. So I still I think it's the same team, tough, well coached. Physical, you know, and you really, really got to uh, come to play with a real edge against Mississippi State. Kermit, I guess, I think it's been since like 20, 2010 or 2011 since State swept the, the regular season series. I mean, how big of a deal is it to stop that from happening? Yeah, I hadn't even thought about the sweeping part. You know, I think the biggest thing that, you know, especially in coaching or players, God, if you, you, you think about past or future, it's a lot of anxiety in coaching and playing. You just got to stay right present. Uh, I know we've had four, you know, some chances this week, and we haven't. The season the series has been really, really even, and uh, we just we need to win. That obviously is the biggest game on our schedule, and that's really all that matters. You know, it's just us trying to play well tomorrow against a, a good state team and uh, playing the best we can, and uh, to get a much needed win at home. Kind of going back and forth with Amari and kind of TJ in that lineup, you know, uh, what are some things that, that have set out or what are some corrections that kind of be made, made with their games just in the last two or last three games? Yeah, you know, we just base it on practice. You know, we'll base it on today's practice, you know, like it'll start and that's what we've kind of done at, at a lot of the positions that we've had. Some of those other guys have been kind of staples, you know, in the lineup with Matt getting injured, some other things. But uh, I thought Mo got off to a good second half start. You know, we're uh, – I thought TJ is getting to spots. He hadn't done great right around the rim of finishing. And that's something I think with his athleticism we can get better at. And uh, both those guys will play a huge part, you know, in the game tomorrow. But kind of who starts or maybe start Ty Fagan, you know, we'll see how today's practice goes. Kind of going off that, how would you assess uh, the play from your two freshman guards up to this point? I think they've been good. You know, it's a, it's a tough league for young guys, you know, when it gets down the stretch. And uh, – I think those guys, I mean, they're gaining an unbelievable experience. They both had some great moments, you know. And, uh, you know, we need those guys to step up and play, make plays, kind of like Amari did to start that second half at Florida and, uh, and to guard and really execute. And, uh, you know, so to have two freshman guards out there at the same time late in, in the conference year, probably nobody else is doing that. Maybe, maybe Alabama, you know, with Miller and their point guard. So uh, it's, it's, it's a tough league, but I think those guys have gotten a lot better and are growing, growing well. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. We looked on t in TV. I think it was like James White didn't show up until about the five minute mark of the second half. And was it was it a game time decision with him? And if so, no, he was, was. You know, he did play the last game, and uh, he just missed a lot of practice. You know, and so. Uh, you know, he but we tried him in the game. Thought he did fine. His ankle is is 100 percent, so he's good. You know, so uh, I think it was just him. You know, missing some some practice time due to his injury. And, and last one for me uh, with them honoring the 2013 SEC tournament championship uh, team in this one. I think your team at Middle was one of their only non-conference losses that year. What do you remember about that that Southeastern Conference championship team and just kind of. I mean, other than obviously Marshall Anderson and all that. Yeah, oh, I remember it well. I mean, you know, obviously, I, mean, I said it when I got the job. Uh, Andy and I are, are great friends, and and so I followed Ole Miss basketball closely because I was pulling for Andy, and uh, and I just think that you know I remember that team. They were undefeated when they came to our place, and Marshall didn't get off to a great start, but it didn't stop Marshall from shooting. You know, so he kept shooting. I think we had a last second shot, six seconds to go to win. It was a big win for us because we got upset in our conference tournament, and it was one of the wins to, to beat a team who won the SEC championship that got us in that large bid. And so uh, I remember Murphy Holloway, uh, Marshall, uh, Buckner played so great for them down the stretch. It was a deep team, exciting team to watch. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was one of the best teams in, in Ole Miss history. I mean, I, obviously Marshall busted on the scene, you know, that year. Because we came back and played them the following year, they beat us in Tad Smith uh, the following year, and uh, but yeah, it was a it was a great team. I wish more of them could come. You know, a lot of them are coaching and playing, doing some different things, and uh, hopefully we'll have uh, a lot of them to come back. And uh, but it was it was a special team, and we're glad to to have those guys back for sure. You had Marshall as a graduate manager. Did you did y'all kind of go back and forth from that game? We right? did. You know, we're one and one. You know, and uh, uh, but we did. He's he's got great fun, and he. He still comes a lot of games. I'm sure he'll be here uh, uh, tomorrow, but he is. He probably will be one of the most remembered players in the SEC, and obviously one at uh, at Ole Miss. But I remember competing against him uh, well. You know, everybody talked about Marshall being this uh, shooter, and he was, but he was a real competitive guy. He was competitive, and uh, uh, he impacted winning in a good way. Once again, kind of going off that as well. I know one of the things you talked about when you got hired at Ole Miss and then talking this year is just how important body language is that guard position. Nobody showed it, I guess, better than Marshall and all that. Do you, you kind of use that as kind of you know, kind of the poster child of you know what we need to have in that guard position as far as the body language and the way you. Compete. Yeah, you know he, uh, you know he was just a competitive guy. You know he let his emotions. You, you saw every bit of it. You know throughout the game, good and bad and. Uh, uh, but he, he played with an edge, which was great, and that's what you want to do. And, uh, you know, he was an older, experienced player, and uh, so you're right. There's a lot of things to uh, to learn from him because the way – no moment was too big. He made a lot of big shots at Ole Miss late in games to try to help him win, sustain leads. And so all that's a part of why, you know, he was one of the best guards in the SEC during his two years here. I think um, even, even before Cassidy's injury – I mean, obviously, you guys did a great job on him, just, just three points. Um, it seems to have happened a couple times, obviously, with Sheway in Kentucky. That kind of happened. You keep him under wraps. Other guys go off. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a great point. I mean, if, we had, if somebody would have told – and I hate the injury happened to Colin because, I mean, he – I love him as a player. I love him how he competes, you know. And so I, I hated that that, that happened to him. Um, but if you could have told – we did a great job on the first half. If you'd have told me he only had three points, you know, I think we win the game. That team had really, really been struggling mightily shooting the ball, and they made shots. Uh, we, we broke a couple coverages early and got their heads up. Uh, but then, you know, Jitabo came in and just kind of held his ground, you know. So, yeah, we double teamed him, you know, and did some things. We had to do some similar things to Tulu Smith because he's, he's a great center in our league. And uh, But, yeah, we just – I thought their support players just played fantastic and made all the plays in the second half. Any more questions? All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. Let's go.